then we wandered back down for a, we did about four or five mile walk and then came Yeah. Up. Nice morning. Mm. Mm, lovely. Yeah, out the wind. Really the weather's lovely. lovely. It's been brilliant, you know, it's we've just been absolutely gorgeous. It really has. Have you caught the wind much though, has that been? No, not really. No. We had a little bit on our face on the way to it, but nice ride to the uh, youth hostel hut and then yeah. Uh, it, it was definitely a handbag route, it was a lot of carrying your bike. Yeah. <laughs> but um, well, so we, we sort of walked up the same speed as some walkers uh, a fair bit of the way. I think they're from abroad somewhere, they're coming here, but we've sort of, after the top, we have done it a lot quicker than walkers, so you know they might not get here by the time we leave. But nice, nice group they were. So, how long do you reckon the afternoon? Uh, so anything like that, mate, a long time. <laughs> how, how, in distance wise, how much further is it? Uh, we've done sort of two thirds of it. Near, no, not quite, but well over half. We're over halfway. And it's only took four hours to get here, and we're over halfway, so you know, by that, we should be uh, there by sort of five, but I don't think we will. Well, everybody else says not. <laughs> Because got yeah. So I over there to get a cool, tasty pint of Hoe Garden. Oh, we're happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're very happy. Yeah. And here's the only heroine doing it. <laughs> Sue, who's enjoyed herself immensely. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Kev, Mr. Injury. Came with three injuries, fell off on the beach at the start, and now he's got four. He's bashed his knee up, and he's got some ice in that glass to put on his knee. So now it's just a broken thumb, damaged knee, split tooth, and uh, oh, damaged, damaged leg from cramp. So really, I don't know what he's complaining about. Might as well have a shot of Kev soothing his uh, so knee that he ba ba bashed in. Yeah. He didn't get very far, it was on the beach. I know. <laughs> beach. I thought I was going to do, uh, I was going to do like uh, coast to shore. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at the mess he's making on the floor there. It's like he's peed himself. Mm. That reminds me, there's something else I need. <laughs> what, a poo? Yeah. Good bee soiling. <laughs> So all the bikes are holding up well, only one puncture so far. 22 miles in, only 171 to go. Looking the rating as well as the film. Yeah. <laughs> He's written a script before, hasn't he? Yeah. There we go, it's good as new. Oh, that's it now. So, the famous Wasdale head in. Looking down towards uh, West Water, which you can't actually see. Somewhere over that kind of direction is Scarfell, Scorfell, whatever you call it, Pike. And there is the route that we're going up next. That path there. And there's a pub we left uh, probably 20 minutes ago. It certainly isn't very rideable this route, as you can see.
very rideable. At least no one's tired yet at all. No, we're all full of energy and raring to go. <laughs> upwards and upwards. Yes. Not quite at the top, but kind of. Kev out on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> Get it out it's and take Kev on it. So what tarn is that one? Sprinkling? Hey. Actually, is that, is that the highest one? No, that's tarn. There's another tarn higher than that. Oh. Yeah, we'll go up to it. Possibly a little bit more handbagging up that way. Yeah. Doesn't look entirely rideable. Lots of handbagging today. Yeah. Does this term handbagging huh? Apparently from the lady, it, uh, it was in that article. Yeah, right. But the guys who did that uh, coast to coast in the book, they said that woman at the uh, Stonehouse Farm said, oh, you're doing the handbagging route then, are you? So it came from her. Yeah, yeah. But according to her, it came from somebody else who said it to her. So, yeah, where it actually originally comes from. But. Well, 